what if I told you that one of the most baffling objects ever seen in our solar system might be looking back at us? It sounds like science fiction, but listen to this. There's an object out there, 3i divided by Atlas, that is at least 1,000 times more massive than any other interstellar visitor we have ever tracked. This mysterious celestial body presented an unprecedented spectacle. Not only did it trail a comet tail shaped by solar radiation, but even more bizarrely, another tail extended ahead of it. Yet, what truly left observers speechless was its sheer size. Its mass was at least 1,000 times greater than any previously observed interstellar visitor and could potentially be as much as 1 million times larger. Time rewinds to July 2025, when astronomers recorded a phenomenon once deemed impossible. Uh, subsequently, NASA announced it had successfully decoded signals from a celestial body named 3, I divided by Atlas signals, that could potentially overturn our understanding of the universe. Initially classified as an ordinary sun-grazing comet, 3 I divided by Atlas soon began exhibiting behavior defying all known cometary physics. Scientists conducted repeated verifications confirming this effect was extremely faint and elusive. Any minor error could distort the data. As scientists warned at the time, Images captured by the North Optical Telescope in the Canary Islands clearly revealed this anomaly. Unlike typical comets that eject gas and dust away from the Sunday, Comet 3, I divided by Atlas, began expelling material in the opposite direction. Now, let's pause and really think about this. For a comet, this is like a boat sailing into the wind using a sail that's pointed with the wind, it makes no physical sense. This anti-tail wasn't just a random puff of gas, it was a sustained, directed stream of matter pointing toward the very heat source that should be pushing it away. This observation alone should have set off every alarm bell in the astronomical community, as it points to a force other than simple solar radiation pressure at play. This counter-tail phenomenon persisted for nearly two months, showing neither pulsations nor deviations during the comet's rotation. However, by late October, the anti-tail vanished without a trace, replaced by a slender, faint tail extending away from the Sunday. It was a scene reminiscent of a spacecraft igniting its engines after correcting its trajectory. The global astronomical community was plunged into profound bewilderment. How could this have happened? Science had never encountered such an extraordinary phenomenon. The evolution of natural comets typically unfolds gradually, with gases and dust released incrementally as they heat up near the Sunday. For a tail to extend in the opposite direction, a force must propel material toward the Sunday a phenomenon usually accompanied by rotation, disintegration, or changes in brightness. Yet, Comet 3i divided by Atlas exhibited none of these characteristics. It abruptly altered its trajectory with astonishing precision, leaving no signs of structural damage. Even scientists steadfastly committed to the natural origin theory of comets found themselves unable to offer a plausible explanation. With NASA operations suspended at the time, no official explanation was provided. Yet, observations from the Rubin telescope confirmed this bizarre transformation. Comparisons with earlier Hubble images from July clearly revealed the anti-tail's astonishing 100 to 1 ratio, its shape resembling a perfectly straight laser beam. Think about that, a 100 to 1 ratio. That's not a fuzzy, chaotic cloud of gas, that is a collimated beam. In physics, creating such a focused jet of material in the vacuum of space requires a nozzle, a directed energy source, or some kind of containment field. Nature, while powerful, um, tends toward entropy, things spread out. This level of focus is the hallmark of engineering. It's a massive waving red flag, uh, suggesting that whatever this object is, it's not just a passive chunk of ice. Even more astonishingly, scientists David Jewett, Jane Liu, and others uncovered another anomaly while analyzing the comet's composition, 
uh, data from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Felix Delon Telescope revealed that approximately 87% of the ejected material consisted of carbon dioxide, 9% was carbon monoxide, and water vapor accounted for only 4%. At a distance of 33 astronomical units from the Sunday, its mass loss rate was approximately 100 grams or about 3.5 ounces per second. As its distance from the Sunday decreased, this value rose sharply, exhibiting a perfect positive correlation with changes in solar radiation intensity. However, the direction of its outflow completely contradicted the standard solar heating model. This apparent imbalance suggests the gas release is not spontaneous but purposefully ejected from specific regions. If it were merely melting ice, emissions should occur randomly from multiple points. Yet, 3i divided by Atlas releases gas solely from a single localized area as if through a carefully engineered nozzle. Some researchers believe this phenomenon strongly resembles jet propulsion. After deep analysis of the data, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and physicist Eric Eddo initially proposed a natural explanation. Scattered sunlight might push water ice fragments and carbon dioxide plumes out together. Yet, even Eddo himself admits that the precise angle of the countertail and its near-perfect synchronization with the star's motion are nearly impossible to explain using known comet physics. This celestial body appears to consciously regulate its activity, as if 3i divided by Atlas already knew when to decelerate and when to accelerate. British physicist Brian Cox adds that this behavior strikingly resembles a premeditated gravity assist maneuver, a technique where spacecraft utilize the gravitational pull of planets or stars to slow down, alter their uh, uh, trajectory, and gain speed. When the countertail mysteriously vanished in October and a new tail emerged, telescopes recorded a sharp drop in brightness followed by a rapid rebound. This is a signature brightness curve typical of a spacecraft switching from counter thrust to main thrust. To maintain such precision, 3i divided by Atlas must control its rotation and jet direction with extreme accuracy. No known natural process could achieve such precise synchronization on an object approximately 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles in diameter. Meanwhile, Loeb calculated from July to October, Atlas III ejected roughly 2 million tons of material, a minuscule fraction of its estimated total mass of 33 billion tons. This implies all observed activity originated solely from its surface layer, just centimeters thick. The true structure beneath this object remains a profound mystery. If its interior is hollow or metallic, yet its surface can release gas in a controlled manner, it would still appear outwardly like an ordinary icy comet. Physicist Michio Kaku stated this idea is not science fiction, a highly advanced civilization could very well utilize frozen carbon dioxide as fuel for interstellar spacecraft. When heated by sunlight, the gas is expelled through pre-engineered nozzles, generating a gentle yet sustained thrust. No flames, yet providing stable motion. Observed from afar, it would appear nearly identical to an ordinary comet, bright, dusty, seemingly harmless. The only difference lies in the intentionality of its behavior. Its course and synchronization are precise, not random. This is precisely what the abnormal reverse trail behavior of 3i divided by Atlas demonstrates. Meanwhile, Elon Musk expressed clear weariness when publicly commenting on the phenomenon. This is the strangest thing I've seen in deep space dynamics, he asserted at a Starbase press conference. The sudden turn at the object's tail resembles an orbital correction rather than accidental gas ejection. Musk believes this is currently the most plausible explanation. The interstellar object is consciously altering its course. Um, if you examine its vector data, he stated, you'll observe deceleration as it approaches the Sunday, likely utilizing solar gravity as a gravitational slingshot. After perihelion, it may 
have redirected thrust again. More unsettlingly, the latest models indicate its updated trajectory points directly toward Earth. This isn't anomalous comet behavior, it resembles deliberate action. Uh, the mystery deepened when images of the comet released by an orbiter subsequently vanished under bizarre circumstances. These photographs remain unreleased to this day. The official explanation cited the backlog caused by the government shutdown. However, insiders at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory hinted that the images clearly revealed an unusually symmetrical luminous structure surrounding the comet's nucleus. These patterns bore no resemblance to the chaotic distribution of naturally formed field clouds. If true, such high symmetry would almost certainly indicate an artificial origin, though NASA remained silent for weeks afterward, on October 2025, during the government shutdown, the International Asteroid Warning Network quietly added three I divided by Atlas to its planetary defense watch list. This marked the first celestial body ever classified as having interstellar origin. A, a brief bulletin referenced its orbital anomalies and a non-gravitational acceleration phenomenon, astronomers euphemism for celestial motion, inexplicable by natural forces alone. Within hours, amateur observers documented persistent minute deviations in the object's trajectory, indicating some force was actively correcting its path in real time. But what truly stunned scientists were the latest composite images from the observatory. These images unequivocally confirmed that a retrograde jet directed toward the Sunday had been operating steadily for over 60 days. This is a critical piece of the puzzle. The energy required to maintain this thrust for 60 days is enormous. A simple, thin surface layer of ice sublimating, turning to gas, would have been depleted almost immediately. The fact that it's sustained means there must be a massive internal reservoir of fuel and a mechanism to transport that fuel to the nozzle and expel it with continuous force. This isn't a passive reaction. It's an active system. It implies a complex internal structure, something far more than just a cold, dead rock. The International Asteroid Warning Network immediately announced the launch of a globally coordinated observation program, mobilizing telescopes worldwide to gather maximum data on its trajectory. Just one week later, on October 3, I divided by Atlas will reach a position 203 million kilometers or 126 million miles from the Sunday. This was considered the optimal window for any orbital maneuver if it indeed possessed some form of propulsion system. At that point, it could accelerate, decelerate, or even potentially release small probes or other technological assets toward planets. Meanwhile, online reports began circulating. The flight paths of two spacecraft currently on primary missions, the interstellar visitor probe HERA and NASA's Europa Clipper, would come remarkably close to this interstellar visitor. Both will perform close flybys of Comet 3i, divided by Atlas between October and November. HERA will observe from 8 million kilometers, about 5 million miles, from the comet nucleus, while Europa Clipper will approach much closer at just 2 million kilometers, uh, about 1.24 million miles. At such distances, their instruments could detect any magnetic field or plasma changes, should the comet tail extend sufficiently. Uh, Clipper itself carries magnetometers and plasma sensors designed for studying Jupiter's moons, but these instruments can also detect electromagnetic traces of interstellar dust. If NASA acts quickly, these probes could potentially become the first devices to collect samples of material from beyond our solar system. However, as of now, the agency has not confirmed reprogramming for this mission. Scientists, including Loeb, caution that its orbit could become unstable. Loeb notes that when Comet 3i divided by Atlas re-emerges from behind the Sunday, it may again alter its trajectory due to non-gravitational anomaly points, 
the very features that caused its tail's bizarre deflection months ago. Should this occur, the object could enter an entirely new orbit and significantly approach Earth. According to Loeb's calculations, the probability of the next orbital correction pushing it into Earth's orbit is approximately 20%. Should this prediction unfortunately materialize, um, humanity's final observation of this interstellar visitor might become our first genuine encounter with a non-natural celestial body. Yet, even if it remains entirely natural, its potential threat cannot be ignored. A comet with a diameter between 5 and 11 kilometers, that's 3.1 to 6.8 miles, uh, colliding with Earth would release shockwave energy equivalent to the catastrophe that wiped out the dinosaurs. It would darken the skies, poison the atmosphere, and bring modern civilization to an end within mere weeks. For now, astronomers can only wait in silence, gazing into the deep space beyond the Sunday, praying that when Comet 3i divided by Atlas reappears, it will continue drifting away from us rather than drawing nearer. After all, if humanity can send probes beyond our own star system, then surely older, more advanced civilizations achieved the same feat millions of years ago. Perhaps 3i divided by Atlas is not merely a cosmic wanderer, but an observer, an interstellar scanner, or a cosmic cartographer. This silent messenger may hail from a long-vanished civilization, drifting alone through the stars until its encounter with us. Stay tuned, for when 3i divided by Atlas re-emerges from behind the Sunday, the truth we face may be closer to Earth than we dare imagine. So, what's the big takeaway from all this? The valuable lesson here isn't just about comets or the dangers they pose. It's a lesson in cosmic humility. We spend so much time looking down at our own problems that we forget to look up and realize we are a tiny, tiny part of an impossibly large and mysterious universe. Three, I divided by Atlas, whether it's a rock or a spaceship, forces us to confront the unknown and to question our own assumptions about our place in the cosmos. It reminds us that there are things out there far older, far larger, and potentially far more intelligent than we are. What do you think 3i divided by Atlas is? Is it a natural wonder that breaks all the rules of physics? Or is it the first definitive sign that we are not alone? Let me know your theories in the comments below. And if you enjoy exploring these kinds of mind-bending mysteries, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're always digging into the truths that lie just beyond our reach.